Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Minecraft 5x5 tutorial. Today, friends, we're going to make a wolf. So let's get cracking. Once again, friends, set your nudge to 5. That is the biggest key. Bring out a cube. Hold down shift and stretch it to Crazyville. And then each brick needs to be size 5. Now, I've started making these textured so that we could 3D print them if we wanted. Change it to 2 and 1 and then zoom in on it. I'm going to use fit view. You can see that that's got a nice textured edge. And then I'm going to start building from that spot right there. I am going to build my wolf with white. Remember this awesome project was created by Jack and now I am just turning it into a tutorial for you. So it works like this friends. First we do control D and because of that five millimeter nudge, it nudges over to the perfect spot for our second brick. These need to be four by four, so we're just gonna do control D and control back. There's the bottom of a leg. There are eight of these rows going up. If we grab it and do control D and control up arrow, we have just made one layer. If you continue to do control D, it memorizes the movement and you can be to eight in no time. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Notice this gray for the leg. Let's do that super quick. Always when you select, double check and make sure you have the right number. Eight is the right number. And boom, I'm gonna put that gray just like that. Control D and one, two, three, four nudges to get the two legs in place. Let's quickly make our back legs. Once again, it's control D. And then these are eight nudges back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's double check and make sure I had that right. Nope, it's nine. 9, 10 nudges back to get them to the same spot. They are also too higher back here. So watch this. If I do select and control H, those are now out of the way. And then from the front, I can grab those eight and do control D and control up. And boom, our legs are in place. Now this body is eight by six. So click on the top cube do control D and control up. It needs to come out at you and it needs to go one to the right. This is gonna be this chunk right here. Now we need to click somewhere else to cancel out that other move and do control D and control over and we need eight of these. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then if we look at that from the front, it's time to move them to the back. We're gonna make our life easier though by grabbing these legs and doing control H and hiding them. If you miss one of those pieces, just do control H again. Remember, we have to go back six, select all of that. We'll double check that it says eight. Do control D, do your back, and do six of these. So that's two, three, four, five, six. We need to go eight high, so I'm gonna grab all of that. Control D and control up. That's two, three, four, five, six seven, eight. So we have just made this part of our dog. Let's spin around and do the back. If you look at this, it's one in on every chunk. So what I'm gonna do is just click one in and I'm gonna do control D and I'm gonna bring it towards me. And then I'm gonna click somewhere else cause we gotta cancel out that old move. Let's do fit view to zoom in. And I'm just gonna do control D and I'm gonna go over. And remember we want one less so we just do control D D, D, D. And then let's click on this edge and let's hold shift and click this edge. And I'm gonna do control D and control up. And then control D, D, D to make that across. And let's do control D and come over and D, D to fill it in. Now we need to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of these. I'm gonna try this trick. I'm gonna click on any one of them. I'm gonna choose fit view. I'm gonna choose top view. I'm gonna zoom out. And if I just grab this edge, I have got all 18 selected. And now friends, if I do control D back arrow, that's two and we need nine of these. So that's control D three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Friends, if you turn on the light bulb, you have now got your awesome wolf with the legs that quickly. Let's go up here to the front and let's finish the head. 
First, let's make the red piece that goes all the way around. Click on one of these pieces, do control D, pull it towards you. Make it red. Then make it super thin. So instead of five, type 0.2 and press enter. Now we need to do control D and we need to nudge that one over and then do control D again and again and again to make it go all the way across. I'm gonna click back on the first one and do control D. This time I'm gonna do control down, control D to make it go all the way across. I'm gonna go over to this side and it's important to switch or they go the wrong direction. Control D, control down, control D, 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 D. And then once again, switch into the other side, control D, nudge over, control D to finish that all the way around. All right, friends, let's make these ears super fast. Click on the first block that we would need, which is right here. I'm gonna hold shift and get the next one. And then I'm gonna hold shift and get the other two. When you do control D and pull them out, you can see they're all in a nice row. I'm gonna quickly make them the gray. And then I'm gonna do control D. And I wanna go back and I wanna do control up. And we have just made the cool ears. Now we'll add the black stuff later, the same way we added the red stuff. Now this next part I'm gonna to explain to you, you can choose whether you do it a little bit at a time or all of the bits at a time. But I'm gonna do shift select to try and grab all of these. Notice you miss sometimes, which is annoying. But if you're careful, this can be a one step project. If, you're, if you don't have success, just go one little bit at a time. So I have got all of them, I think. I'm gonna do Control D and I'm gonna pull them towards me. I missed one, I'll get it later. I need three of these, so I'm gonna do Control D and I'm gonna do Control D. So I've just brought all of those out. I'm gonna fill in these by clicking on this one and doing Control D, bringing it out, Control D, D. So I've just made the outside of the head. I'm gonna real quickly use Shift Select to grab those three and do control D, bring it across and do control D and D and D. And I filled in that. Alrighty friends, so this nose fits in the middle and it's got three across. Let's grab any one piece, do control D and hit D to drop it to the ground. Now I want you to click on that piece and do control D, do your nudge over and control D. You've just created one row, grab those three, double check, control D, pull it forward and control D. You've just built one stack of nine. Now let's grab those three and do control D and control up and control D. And you've just built the nose area. If we look at this from the side, it's pretty easy to just grab those front six. Make sure you've got six. That is a dark gray, pick whichever one you want. And then those top four need to be a tan. So once again, I'm gonna look at it from the side. You can cheat and hit the right view. You can hit fit view, you can zoom out so that you get that exact angle you need. I'm gonna grab all of those. If you make a mistake, just do control Z. I am double checking to see that it says 12, that is good. And I'm gonna make it that tan brown color. I'm gonna use this one right here. And then this bottom chunk of three, we need to make black. Now I'm gonna take this nose and I'm gonna group it. We'll ungroup it later. Right now, I just want to hit work plane, click right on this, and I want to hit D to drop. Alrighty, friends, we want to align this nose exactly with our head. So let's do it like this. Click the bottom left piece, hold down shift and click the bottom right piece, and make them a group quickly. We don't want to group a lot of these pieces because it'll mess things up because of how slow it gets. Let's shift click on those parts we just grouped. If we hit a line and make one of those corners the boss, we can now make our nose center and we can align it to the bottom. If you click somewhere else, let's get rid of that work plane and take a look at it, you'll see that nose is in a great spot. And now when we ungroup it, boom, our woof is looking pretty sweet. You can tell that Jack did choose a much cooler color than I did. Real quickly though, I can paint these eyes. You can make your colors as awesome as you want. I'm just gonna stay with the ones that I've got that are close. Once again, I'm gonna hit black. All these chunks right here, I'm gonna hold down shift and click on them so I can do them faster. So there's two, two, three, four, five, six. And I'll show you where those colors are that Jack did find. He went to custom 
and he went out here into the brown colors and found one that he thought was super cool. Probably somewhere in there. I don't know for sure, though. Once you do find a cool color, though, right-click on it and choose Copy. And then you can do the same thing on the other side. Once again, I'm going to Shift Select. Notice this was a group, so it already did it. Let's see if we can zoom in there and get that last corner. Boom. And it looks like I missed this one, too. So I'm just holding Shift and grabbing it. And then if you double-click, right-click, paste, you can put that current color in, and you hit paste, and it goes on both sides. Looks like I missed that one as well, which is an easy fix. Control-V, Enter. Bam! We have just created a fun little woof. I do see that he painted these back here. Let's quickly put those. And then we'll go back and add the tail. And press Enter. All right, friends, so I quickly went in and changed all those just to the same color because it looks a little bit more awesome. Really quickly, let's move back to that tail. Notice it is also a 4x4. Four four. We do need to fill in the back of this guy. Let's hold down Shift and select those. And do Control d Control up and Control d Control d All right, everybody, let's quickly build this tail. I'm going to hit F to fit view so I'm zoomed in. Friends, we need to make a 4x4 four four tail. So hold Shift and make sure you get all four selected. Do Control d with your out arrow. That's one chunk, so now Control d is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then this tail gets tilted a tiny bit. Friends, I'm going to do that by looking at it right from above. And I just want to grab the 8 times 4, which is 32. If I look at it from a corner, then I can quickly do the rotation. And I'm going to tell you the correct number is about 5 or 6 degrees. I'm going to switch my nudge to 1 millimeter. And I'm going to nudge it Control up until it's the exact spot. And then Control in so it's connected as well. If you want a different adjustment, you can do that. Friends, our last piece, I'm going to turn back on my 5x5 five five nudge, is to put these black pieces around the ears. Once, it in, once again, it's Control D and come out. I'm going to fit view on that little dude, and I want to make his thickness instead of 5. I want to change it to 1. And then I'm going to quickly change his dimension to 0 0.2 and press Enter and I'm going to make him black. I'm going to use the black black and do control D and control up. And then I want to put those same two over here, so I'm going to do it like this. I did shift select. I'm going to put the work plane right where I want to put them. When I do control D, I can now do D to drop. I do have to nudge one down to get it exactly where it's supposed to go. Let's be super smart, and I'm going to hold down Shift and grab all four. Notice it still says three, so I'm going to click one more time. Now it says four, and I'm going to do Control D. But I'm going to put the work plane on this side, and when I hit the letter D, they drop to the exact right spot. I'm going to put the work plane over here and put and do Shift to select. And I'm going to hit D to drop. And boom, they move to the other side just like that. Friends, let's real quickly repeat that step up here. I'm going to put the work plane back to normal. So I'm clicking the blue. Control D, Control up. Once again, I'm going to set that thickness to 0.2. I'm going to set that to the black. Click on that shape and do Control D and nudge it over and then control D, and then I gotta move it to the right spot, and then control D, and then you'll just have to move it back. Friends, you have just created an amazing woof. All thanks to the cool skills of Jack and the Tinkercad 5x5 Nudge. Friends, thank you so much for building this awesome project, and if you enjoyed it, don't forget, there are more you can check up above. There is a playlist that has all my Minecraft projects, 
Also, if you decide to make your own and want to share with me, maybe I'll use yours as a template like I've been using Jack's so far. Once again, to share it, all you have to do is click that button, generate a link, and copy the link. And then you can reach out to me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. If those don't work for your friends, don't forget you can visit hlmodtech.com. I have got a boatload of awesome information, including the Minecraft Mayhem tab. And also at the bottom, I have the sweet messaging tool. Friends, you can click that, fill in your information, and reach out to me almost instantly. Finally, friends, we got to send a shout out to Jack. Dude, thank you so much for creating all these awesome projects and taking time to share them with me. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, maybe even give it a share. And of course, if you got questions or comments, add them down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.